BBC Radio 2 legend Zoe Ball has reflected on her future with the network after her colleague Ken Bruce claims he was forced out of his job early. Zoe, 52, became the first female broadcaster to host both the Radio 1 Breakfast and Radio 2 Breakfast show after joining the network in 1997. The veteran broadcaster first joined the corporation in 1994 as a co-presenter on Smart before eventually moving into radio and becoming a firm favorite. But in 2000, she announced her departure from the Radio 1 breakfast show and instead moved to XFM, before rejoining the BBC in 2007 alongside Sarah Cox. Now, five years after joining the Radio 2 breakfast show, she admits she worries about her future and shared the candid news with her new colleague, Vernon Kay. As the pair shared listeners' reactions to Vernon joining the show, Zoe said, Vern, we'll rock it, please stay for 31 years like Ken, Joe and Leeds. You'll be 85 then exclaimed Vernon before Zoe added, you'll be 85, that's brilliant, there you go. I always think he'll be lucky if I last an extra two years, let alone 31. The comments come after Ken Bruce announced his departure from the show after over three decades, with Vernon stepping into his shoes. Following Ken's comments claiming he has been forced out of his job early after announcing his departure, Vernon said he was initially hesitant to take over from a legend. Speaking to Zoe, Vernon said, My dad is a lorry driver and I said this when I joined Radio 2 and started standing in for Steve Wright, so we've always had Radio 2 on in the background. It is part of us, it is in our DNA. Ken Bruce is mid-morning, you don't think of any other DJ when you think of that slot, has made it his own, has an absolute legend of a broadcaster. I'm obviously over the moon but it's the Ken Bruce show, the man has raised the bar so high. Vernon went on to share how his dad said, big boots them, son when he informed his parents of his news. Meanwhile, Ken took to Twitter saying, I will be presenting my last show on Radio 2 next Friday. I had intended fulfilling my contract until the end of March but the BBC has decided it wants me to leave earlier. Let's enjoy the week ahead. In response to Ken's statement, the BBC said, Ken decided to leave Radio 2 and it's always been known he's leaving in March. Returning to Wogan House for a week after a month of broadcasting the piano room sessions at May de Vale provided a natural break. We wish Ken all the best for the future, 